Hello ladies and gentlemen, and I know a lot of you want to see the 113 I'm playing now, and as you know, uh, this tank, I've, I've not enjoyed it, to be honest, in the beginning half, but now with the 113, I feel like I am in a decent place in this tank, and I feel like this thing is actually uh, pretty decent, and I am going to show you why it is decent in this game. Now, this thing has... Uh, this thing is classified as a heavy tank, but really, sometimes it's more of a, uh, let's say, uh, he heavy brawler. Uh, not really a, a standard heavy anymore. As you can see, uh, the speed is uh, fairly good. Um, let's say, really good actually for a heavy. The front armor is capable of bouncing. Let me just uh, switch the setting slightly here. The marker's uh, fucked up here. I need to change it. And okay. Not percentage. I want to do this. You always wanted to have that like that because it's going to be more accurate uh, display of uh, whatever you're doing. Uh, percentage doesn't really help you. So let's change it. Okay, that's it. That's good. Okay, now let's re begin the real uh, tank review. Well, I think this tank is certainly worth the grind for a number of reasons. This line is, 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 is a decent line to go down, you know? I feel like the tier, after the tier 6 Chinese tanks, when it comes to the real grind, the real big grind, is actually a really decent uh, tank line to grind, since at tier 7 you get the IS-2. Okay, that's n nothing really special, but uh, it's slightly better than the regular IS in my opinion, because you get heat rounds as standard rounds, uh, as meat, not standard, what the hell am I talking about? as uh, a, uh, the, the equivalent to a APCR, the Russians get the premium rounds. Um, so this tank, I think, yeah, is worth the grind for real. Uh, doesn't matter if you like it or not. I think the WZ111-124 is a serious threat on the battlefield uh, because I don't. F I feel like that thing is more enjoyable to play than the E105 for a number of reasons. It has a better DPM, better gun than the uh, E seventy five. It has uh, the same. It has more alpha actually than the tier ten tank equivalent. So it's more got more alpha, I believe, than the uh, than this tank, the one one three. The one one three is more of a medium, to be honest, uh, a really long medium. As you can see, the size of this thing is it's not it's low profile for sure, but it's just really really long, and that is a disadvantage because often you're gonna get into trouble where you can't hide yourself there's no way to reverse or whatever and you get tracked frontally and then you, you're just gonna stay in the open and that is ugly and okay that was such a bad play there showed his sides showed him my side armor but gotta repair it quickly turn my tracks against this object here and okay now i'm in trouble but at least I'm, i can handle myself if i do now face hugging is gonna be uh, the way you do it with this tank. Look, I'm shaking the turret, as you can see here. It's a very effective way to uh, to not let them hit your Capolos shaking the turret. And there, I somehow made it out of here alive. And we're going to see what sort of havoc I can do. I feel like this tank, I get myself into too much trouble um, too quickly. Uh, as you can see, this quite fast. The gun has shitty penetration, to be honest. Um, of which has got the same equivalent gun on the WZ120. Okay, that was a bad shot again. And I'm, I'm scared here with the IS-7 on my side. He's gonna pop like a 500 health point sh HP shot into me. But no, he doesn't do that until it's too late. Now I got all the attention I need on him. And any time now, okay, E100, okay, I can, I can afford to kill him. Okay, yeah, I get the kill on him. Now, this tank, Angled is is pretty deadly actually. Look at that. He, they they don't really pair me uh, when I'm like that. But the gun wasn't able to go through the traps of the E100 and pen him there, which is quite unfortunate. Uh, this tank does, you can see, go around them, and it's quite small in comparison to the E100. And this thing does what it what it needs to do for a tier 10 heavy. So it does not lack anything. Let's say. Uh, the turret armor is okay. I get dumped there on the side. Bad play, but nothing I really could have done there. And just kills that E100 now. I still only got three kills, but you're gonna see what happens 
next as I start securing more kills and more kills. So immediately, if I'm driving E100, I'll be feeling struggle and all that stuff because I simply cannot keep up with the pace of this game. But because it's a 113, I can keep uh, keep in contact with the game throughout. I can always be able to do this and this tank shifts around like a medium and I'm telling Saiyan here to back off and please do not engage the 3090 as he has pattern next to him but Saiyan does it anyway and he's gonna die in time so now three versus one but uh, luckily I have some kind of backup so the pattern decides to run away and now now it's gonna be quite difficult I really need to get his tracks. Yep, yeah, there goes his tracks. But how did I not pen his tracks and him? And arm on the, on the 113 is capable of bouncing the 1390 all day long unless he hits my lower plate. But I'm not going to give him such an easy lower plate shot here. And of course he's dead. So pattern out. Oh, fired on the move. Doesn't hit. Never mind. I just keep on going forward. Any time now, let's line up the shots. Okay, there goes the kill now. I'm on five kills. Now we're just all hunting for the kill for the final top gun. And let's go for it now. T54E1, okay. That's not an easy target to take out if he does catch me on the side since he has a clip. And you can see the frontal armor here is, is ridiculously front well sloped here on the front. So it's, it's gonna proved to be very efficient at bouncing the enemies. Lower plate, massive target though, so be careful with that. But this game really is only in my side that took a punishment under of course the front. But large caliber guns haven't really done much to me yet and uh, they're reporting the position already, K1. And I don't blame them because really I hate bots who camp at the uh, base who doesn't really play properly. Now if I want to kill still this one, I really got to be careful. Okay, someone laid up a shot there, but mobility means that I can get around. And oh, do I get it? Oh yeah, I get it. So, 6 kill, um, I was going to say Randy Walters then, uh, Top Gun and um, Ace Tanker here. And I think this tank is decent. And you can see the armor does hold out against uh, people who doesn't aim. So yeah, without the, of course it's got worse armor than the i7 but I feel like it's doable at least uh, if you if you meet like a tier 10 medium they won't reliably pen you unless they aim specifically at your lower plate upper plate is always gonna bounce so that way uh, unless you see a Jagd on the 100 or 183 firing proper high pen guns then obviously you're pretty uh, good on the upper frontal plate but yeah this thing trades in armor with, uh, with mobility and I feel like it's decent so as I said tier 7 is good tier 8 is fantastic tier 9 is just over the top good so there's no reason to hold you back again tier 4 tier 3 or if they're bad for you don't stop grinding it because it doesn't really matter there you can grind them all, all from 1 to, to 5 you can do that in one day's time no problem so we'll see you next time, hopefully you enjoyed this tank review and uh, as always I'll bring you more reviews if there's better ones, uh, I do, um, so see you next time.